surprise me from that last thing. We have three comedians competing for tonight's prize. Chester, Stormy, and Jason! <laughs> First round, they get to do whatever stand-up comedy they want. Start with Chester. So I walk into this bar the other oh, day. Finally, a comedic story with meaning. Excuse me? <laughs> the best comedians don't need to walk into a bar and find some clever punchlines. I see. So we should oh. all stay up in our bedrooms oh. and have an existential crisis oh. like you. I find social gatherings to be a meaningless, soul-crushing exploitation involving extroverts who have too much to gossip about. <laughs> then why did you sign up for this competition? I'm really tired of modern comedy uh, representing Gen Z and Millennials, like we're social media obsessed zombies who have no social skills. <laughs> we're much more than that. <laughs> You've obviously never seen my niece. I bet you haven't either. <laughs> into this bar the other day. Ouch! I was laughing harder at my grandma's funeral. So you think you can do better? You think you can do better? I'm a seasoned comedian. Bet. I have years of experience. Bet. So I just found this meme and I well, that, it. That's not even comedy. Just look at it. <laughs> Okay, 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 it's my time to shine. All right. Hello, this is Elmo. <laughs> See, the restraining order against Elmo expired yesterday. Yes, Elmo can now come within 500 feet of Cookie Monster. Yay! What do you call that? Oh, I'm just trying to appeal to the kids. <laughs> kids love impressions. Impressions are nothing but imitations. It's not comedy. Coming from the imitator of a good comedian. At least I know what a good comedian is. Well, I know how to impersonate a bad comedian. Oh, boy. Here we go. Hey, I'm Chester. <laughs> how many of you like a good joke? I was listening to this really terrific comedic routine the other day. It wasn't mine. <laughs> You take that back. <laughs> Thank you. You'll, you'll like this one, Chester. I'm about to do Stormy. <laughs> to do that require, would require you to step into my shoes. They're not your color. <laughs> Okie dokie, okie dokie. So that concludes the stand-up section of the Bartell Comedy Showdown. We'll be right back after this commercial break before our next segment. <laughs> uh, John, question. Yes? You know we're not on live TV. There's an audience here. You can see him too. <laughs> so, uh, where are you guys from? My mother's uterus. <laughs> oh boy, you walked into that one. <laughs> that teenage angst thing really has a hold on you, doesn't it? I'm just making up for the clever comebacks I was too nervous to make in high school. <laughs> Quite a bit. I think comedy helped me escape. Well, you didn't deserve that. Thanks. So, what about you, Jason? I'm from Baraboo. Did you like growing up there? No. It's Baraboo. <laughs> Enough said. How about you? Where did you come from? I come from the world of death. Dance? <laughs> 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 Your had quite a gentle grace about them. Uh, she was flipping you off. You probably didn't see it. Tom, um, maybe you're funny after all. You know, you, you two should totally be a comedic duo. The audience would love it. I would need to have at least one failed Netflix comedy special before I start doing boomer humor. <laughs> question. How old do you think I am? I don't want to answer that question. Sorry. Really? How old do you think I am? 
25. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're serious? You think I'm as old as the Bartell Theater? Well, that's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. Okay, I'll admit it. I'm warming up to you guys. They learn so fast. When are you going to start? <laughs> Look, you don't need sarcastic humor to be really funny. You just need a silly hat. <laughs> I've seen high school theaters with a better costume for the party. <laughs> the battle is not over yet. We are about to start the bonus round. I'd like all comedians to come back to the stage. So this challenge is called Scenes from a Headpiece. Don't you think you mean scenes from a hat? There are things in this hat. Wait, there aren't any pieces of paper in there. I stand corrected. <laughs> Events that shouldn't have start shouldn't have a New Year's Eve style countdown. And we're pulling the life support machine in five, four. <laughs> Things you can say about your car, but not your relationship. This thing needs so much maintenance, I don't think it can be salvaged. <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely situations that you'd start a musical number. I've called to discuss your car's extended warranty. <laughs> Great job, everybody. Now, we're on to our final portion of the night. All the comedians will face down. In a musical comedy segment. Yeah. yeah! I got a guitar here. Anyway, anyway. here's Wonderwall. No, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. I, give me that. I've got this song I've been working on. I think I can guess how it starts. Bananum. Bananum. <laughs> Funny, but actually, there's a song. And great, great. Send me the CD. I'm trying to finish a set here. Poorly. <laughs> Was that a challenge? Show me what you got. <laughs> well, great, because that's just what I was going to do. I am a large man with a small guitar here. And I'm large only in your hearts and minds because I died decades ago, even though some of you think I'm an alien who went home. <laughs> it's a no vote for me. <laughs> I think I actually really liked it. Really? Wait a second, let me try again. <laughs> Waiting on the sarcastic comment. Silence is the best insult to a musician. <laughs> <laughs> hey Chester, you think you can do better? I think I can. Let's give it up for Stormy on the guitar. Wait, what, we didn't rehearse? <laughs> you didn't show up, just like a guitarist. <laughs> Have you ever been in a situation that requires the creation of a comedic punchline? Well, I call a definition that would give you everything if I only had a punchline. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> so, uh, where are we going from here? Well, you did a musical number that was absolutely beautiful. I did an impression that they kind of liked, but what did you think? It was terrific. I really loved it. You really liked my impression? I did. Oh. Me too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, I, I guess I always did impressions because, uh, I've always been kind of insecure about who I am as a, as a person, you know? Yeah, <laughs> me too. <laughs> me too, I think insecurity is really funny. <laughs> so how did you guys get here with your insecurity? Well, I just took it upon myself to get out of my box and do this. Oh, come on. You're holding back. 
I think I sense a little parent angst. Yeah, so uh, for me, the insecurity started when my mother didn't come home. Wow, I'm, I'm so sorry. It's okay. She came back the next morning. <laughs> I think we're learning an awful lot about each other here. What are your guys' zodiac sign? Pisces. Leo. Nice. I'm a Scorpio. Mm. What does that have to do with us getting to know each other? That's something a Leo would say. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys realize we're still in the competition here, right? Well, I don't think it's really a competition. What do you mean by that? I'm clearly winning. <laughs> Here's my impression of you winning the prize. <laughs> You're just standing there doing nothing. There's the point, and you missed it. There's the punchline, and you didn't achieve it. <laughs> so I talked to these people the other day. You know what they said? Words! <laughs> Are you actually doing a stand-up comedy routine? Uh, I'm trying. <laughs> In a musical round? I know my weaknesses. Yeah, everything. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Stop! Good God. That is the end of the final segment. We'll be back right after this break. Wait, what? what? <laughs> I didn't even get to finish my set. Thank you all so much for joining us for Comedy Night at the Bartell, a comedy showdown. We officially, at the end of the competition, we have declared a winner. The winner of the Bartell Comedy Showdown, John! Let's give it up for John. Thank you, John. You're welcome, John. Thank you. He finds his way into everything. Right. <laughs> what even is the prize? Exposure. This is no way to end the show. I worked so hard for nothing? Hmm. Well, maybe we lost the competition, but we gained something tonight. Each other? No. Rent. We're comedians. Oh, right. <laughs>